In this demonstration, we'll see Syntelex used to extract the what, where and when key information in all of analysis. In order to do this, we'll be looking at a range of data, including open source news articles and military reporting as well, extracting key events, where and when they happened, and utilising network, timeline and geospatial analysis, all within the Syntelex solution. Jumping into the project, we can see we have a couple of sources of data, as mentioned. We have the some Afghan war logs, and we also have BBC News reporting from a certain time frame, both of which were collected using the Syntelex inbuilt data collection tools. And then we have networks which were built from those, including a fused master view of all the data, where those two sources have been brought together and fused. In that set of data, we have event indicators, which we've then looked for where and when they've happened. And we've also taken note of where that information has come from, enabling the comparison of data from the news reports versus the war reports in this case. If we jump in to the Fuse network view, we can see that these are the event indicators that we're interested in, including things like kill, attack, damage, wound, destroy. We can jump to our timeline and quickly just select all of our date times and automatically build a timeline. This gives us a quick overview of all the dates referenced in the set of data that we're looking at. From here, we can add all of our event indicators to quickly understand what's going on across a period of time. We see that we have green for data from the news reports and red for data from the war reports. And this is currently all of our event indicators. So we're looking at everything that we're interested in across this period of time. We can zoom in and out. We can also take a snapshot like so and this is also interactive. I can also filter for a particular period of time as well, including today, yesterday, the last hour, or a specified date range of my own choosing. This is useful for understanding the full range of events we're interested in and when they're, period, when they're happening, looking for pattern, patterns. But if we want to look at just one event type, such as bombings, I can add them to the timeline as well. So here, across the bottom, we're seeing the occurrences of bombings. The largest cluster that we have from the bombings is this time frame here, which is 20. I can right click that, that brings up my bombings and when, when they occurred. If I click this button, that then sends us across to the network view. And again, in this view, using the colors of the links, we can see the source of the data. With the bomb currently selected, I can invert my selection, to select the date times and look for locations associated with them. These locations can be uh, general areas, they can be lat longs, they can be MGRS as well. Once we have those on the graph, I can then send them across to the map view and we can actually see that in this particular set of data, we do have a pattern across this region, which warrants further exploration. So in this quick demonstration, we've seen timeline, network and geospatial analysis, answering the what, where and when questions which we always ask in analysis.